Hi guys, it's Kathy. Um, I'm going to do a Dutch pour today with a bunch of leftover paints. I'm doing this on an Artist Loft gallery wrapped canvas. It's a 20 by 24 inch. By the way, I always save these. I cut them up and use them for swipes. You can always cut them up and use them for that. Not that I do that many swipes, but I've got plenty of that stuff in case I do. So the base is going to be it's a combination of black. Um, I have Liquitex Flow Acrylic Black with some Liquitex Heavy Body Black mixed with Amsterdam Prussian Blue. There's a little bit of blue interference in there too. I have a lot of that. And then for my blue-green colors, I have Mystic, which is a combination of Prussian Blue with Deco Arts Extreme Sheen Emerald. Makes this beautiful metallic deep teal color. I'm having a reach here. After that, I have a little bit of the Amsterdam Pearl Paint in blue. It looks mostly white, but it'll be blue when it dries. Uh, the next color is going to be Deco Art Teal. After that is Prism Pearl Fandango. It's really bright lime green. Brightens things up. And then another Amsterdam Pearl Paint. This is Amsterdam Pearl Green. And then after that is, let's see, kind of lost track here of everything. Um, oh, this is a combination of PBO Green Iridescent with some blue. Maybe it's just PBO Blue Green, I think. PBO Blue Green Iridescent. And then I have some leftover primary elements. Papillon, it's a shape shifter. Little pale green with a violet hue. And last is white, mixed with a tiny bit of green and uh, iridescent pearl paint. So that's what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and paint the sides and corners of this canvas in black, and then I will cover it with the combination Prussian blue and black, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That made a huge mess, as you can probably see. Anyway, glad that's over with, and I am going to start first with the Amsterdam Pearl Blue. There's not much in here, but it doesn't need much. It's a new line to start. Okay. And then is the Mystic. That's the combination of Prussian Blue with Decor Extreme Sheen Emerald Green. Kind of sounds like a poem, doesn't it? There we go. Should have taken that stick out of there. I don't want it winding up on the canvas. Okay. Use that. And then there's Deco Art Teal. And 
And then there's the Prison Pour Bright Green Fandango. Love that color. I am loving these together. That looks good. And let's see, after the Fandango is, <laughs> it's uh, the Amsterdam Pearl Green. I'll try to do very little of this if I can. Just a little touch. Might even go around here a little bit. Some little swooshy things. Um, and then is the um, primary elements papillon. It's that uh, pale, pale green with a violet shift to it. I don't know how all this is going to look, but I hope it'll be pretty. Well, you know what? I messed up. I just put the uh, pale blue with white iridescent on top, <laughs> and I missed the papillon which is the pale blue violet in here. So that's okay. We're gonna put some papillon just along here, I think. It's only paint, right? This papillon's really beautiful. And then, I think I might want a little bit more of the Amsterdam Pearl Blue, just in a little, little string lines, not hardly anything. They look like little comets swishing about the canvas.
Oh, I am loving this. Except for my little shooting star comets here. I'm not sure. I kind of like that through here. Maybe it's a little distracting. I'm not sure, but see the little cells coming up through here? That's probably from the pale, pale, pale green, white with the iridescent I had in there. Um, and also the base has some Floetrol in it. It's, uh, I'll have the combination listed below in the description box. It's a combination of uh, Floetrol, GAC, 800, um, some glue, a little bit of Liquitex gloss medium. I believe that's all that's in there, but oh, I really am loving this. I'm going to let these little drops come up a little bit as they may. And while it's doing that, I'm not real happy with all of these. We just kind of, we'll just take them out. Well, we'll try to take them out. Could maybe just do little wispies with them. Just very, very slight. They're hardly noticeable. So you can just, <laughs> that's kind of fun. The wispy guys, it looks very much like the universe where you see the dark uh, dust in the background, like right through here. Kind of liking that. I don't know if I want to leave that or bring this out a little. I like how this goes. This didn't, this is a die hard. It didn't want to die at all. So we'll just try to incorporate it a little. I can add more black since they made such a mess here off the side of the canvas. I got plenty of black to fix up sides if I need to. Which is a far cry which from what I usually do, which is to not have enough base coat when I need it. I think I'm good to go this time. Okay, more little wispies. I think I will do. Bring this one out a little bit here. If you have something like little spots of color you don't really like, you can always wait till it dries and then dry brush uh, the background color over if you want. But I kind of like to incorporate these little guys because I like that ethereal, universal space looking depth. Adds the little depth of the universe to it. I don't see a whole lot more cells coming up. I'm going to torch it and see what happens. for a Dutch pour usually, but I do like a little bit. It adds a little more interest. And uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but that, uh, that Papillon, which is light green with a violet shift, I'm seeing lots of violet all through here. I think this is some of it too. It's Really amazing. In fact, 
Uh, let's see, that didn't quite go how I wanted it. Let's see if we can. Bring the papillon around a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Just integrate it a little bit more with the rest of the outline. I wish you were here. You could tell me, what did I miss? What did I miss? Anything else I should tweak? I am really, really happy with this. I hope it dries well. I did have a lot of paint, but I also blew a lot of paint off. And I can see things are dripping. I'm going to catch all the edge edges of this and, um, and then let it dry. And I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified of when I have new uh, videos come out, go ahead and uh, click on that, that bell. And I will see you in a bit for a wet flyover. Okay, here are the wet results, and there's my little face. Hi guys. Uh, sorry about the reflection of the lights and the camera and and my face and my hair and all that stuff. But I just wanted you to, can you see that violet in there? That's from the Papillon. It's supposed to be a pale green, but there's all that violet and all that shimmer just blending more so than I thought, just beautifully with all these other teal colors. And just gorgeous. And then I like how it just fades out, little wispies like a little ghost, just fading out on the uh, on the ends. Always fun to do a few other little experiments here and there. Oh, I, just, I can't get over that violet. You couldn't really see that at all when we poured it, could we? Not many cells, and that iridescent uh, medium I put in the white, or that it's white and pale green, makes a very soft looking cloud, which I kind of like, especially for uh, certain Dutch pores. Maybe you wouldn't want it all the time, and there's some more little wispy stuff, but see all that violet in there? Looks like a violet shadow against that white, pale green. I love how they blended. All right. Well, that's it. I will come back in a little bit with dry results. Thanks again for joining me and stay well, be happy, and I will see you next time. Well, here this is dry. It's been about three days. I want to get a good shot of this to you before I varnish it because then it will have too much reflection and shine for me to get a proper photograph or video. Unless you like seeing reflections. Anyway, I love how those colors came out. That fandango green is really pretty. And then of course the color shift paints. There's with that red violet that came through has a lot of beautiful wispy wind-like motion. Oh, there's a little ghost right there. Boo. It's a little bit of crazing. But it's not too bad. And there's that soft cloud white with the iridescent medium that I put in the white. very happy with this and I think it's going to look beautiful once it dries. Thanks again for joining me. Take care, be happy, and I will see you next time.